You are welcome to another session of Sam's Economics uh, Tutorials. And in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the cross elasticity of demand and also to interpret the, the coefficient of this uh, cross elasticity. So let's uh, take this question. The question says the price of coffee rises from 45 naira per pack to 55 uh, naira. And as a result, the consumer's demand for tea increases from six packs of tea to 800 packs of tea. So the, our, our focus is to calculate the cross elasticity of demand of tea to coffee. And lastly, to interpret the results. So let's start with the solution. solution so we are going to use the percentage method to calculate the cross elasticity of this uh, tea to coffee and we are going to have uh, let me just use this a uh, cross elasticity of demand to be equal to percentage change in in quantity demanded of of t divided by percentage change in the price of coffee so let's look for percentage change in in the quantity of uh, quantity demanded of t so a percentage change in the quantity demanded of t will be equal to so before we continue let me just give you some certain points that we need to consider so let's take a uh, initial quantity so uh, that is our original quantity let me say q1 to be equal to 600 packs and uh, uh, a final quantity demanded as a result of increase in price of a coffee q2 to, to be equal to 800 packs and also let me take uh, so we are going to look for this we are going to have q2 minus q1 all that divided by q1 multiplied by 100 to get the percentage change in quantity demanded of coffee so we are going to have a um, we are going to have a uh, 800 minus 600 all that divided by 600 multiplied by 100 so when we do this uh, division uh, this subtraction and division we are going to have um, when we take uh, 800 minus 600 we are going to have 200 200 over 600 times 100 so when we do this when we do this we are going to have 0 0.33 multiplied by 100 which uh, gives rise now to 83% so a percentage change in quantity demanded of tea as a result of increase in the price of coffee is 33%. So let's now look for percentage change in the price of coffee so that we can easily uh, substitute into this uh, function, into this equation and come out with our answer.
so let's take uh, p1 p1 that's the initial price to be 45 meta and the p2 to be 65 and we are going to have a percentage change in price in the price of coffee to be equal to P2 minus P1 all that our P1 multiplied by 100 so which we are going to have a um, 55 minus 45 divided by 45 multiplied by 100 so which one by uh, by subtracting 45 from 55 we are going to have 10 divided by we divide by 45 we are going to have 0 0.5 Two, two. Then we multiply it by 100. We are going to have a um, we are going to have 22 percent. 22 percent. That's our percentage change in price. So across elasticity. Cross elasticity of demand will be equal to percentage change in quantity, which is 33%, divided by percentage change in price, which is, which is 22%. So when we take a 33% over 22%, we are going to have 1.5. That is a value of cross elasticity of demand for co for tea to coffee, and the result is that hence hence coffee. The interpretation to interpret this, we say that coffee and tea are substitute. This is because the coefficient of elastic cross elasticity is greater than one and this shows a strong relationship between coffee and tea which shows that consumers can easily switch their consumption between tea and coffee so hence they are substitute 